Hey everyone, what is up? I'm coming at you with Fit Fridays here from Summerton, Arizona. Um, we came to visit family, but you know, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So as you could probably see in the description, we talked about cheats, meals, slash snacks, weeks, months, years of it even. So I kind of wanted to talk about the elephant in the room, or rather the snack, and I don't mean me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Horrible joke, I know. But, um... I wanted to talk about the living in the room, which is cheat meals or the whole aspect of cheating when it comes to your diet. I don't normally say, oh, this is my cheat meal or this is this or this is that. Because you think about it as a lifestyle. Like, really, when we talk about eating, when we talk about exercising, it's not something that you do short term. You don't take a shower short term, right? You're not like, oh, I shower for a week and then, you know, once I start feeling super dirty, I shower again. Kind of the same thing, right? So, you when it comes to eating, you do something that is sustainable for you, and you get to decide what that is based on your goals, which is a really cool thing, okay? So, basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that if you have a cheat meal, a cheat snack, a cheat week, or if you're, on, if you're like, if I'm on vacation, then I get to do this, this, and this, like, do you, boo? Like, really, within reason, right? Now... <clears throat> if there's some health issues going on and, and your doctor says, you know, you probably shouldn't be doing X, Y, Z, then I recommend you heed that and not be like, well, I'm on vacation. I'm just like, mm, you know, sometimes we got to make little sac sacrifices here and there to improve the quality of our life. Now, when you are going through your cheat meals, your cheat weeks, or I don't even want to say it like that. Whenever you're letting yourself experience the luxury of food, right? Um, do it. It, it it's going to be difficult, but I encourage you to have fun with it and not worry so much of what other people are thinking about it because really it's your body, your choice. Um, and you're the one living with the repercussions too. Okay. So just be very mindful of that. That being said, I'm having this wonderful whole fruit coconut paleta and I'm super excited. Now, if you're like me, you take a look at this and you're like, oh, I've seen those. I've seen that before. Like, oh, I've seen it. What does it mean? Well, here's the thing. It says nutrition facts, right? That's the nutritional label. On it, you're able to tell all kinds of stuff. Like, here we have the calories, calories of fat, fat total, saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, dietary fiber, sugar, protein. That's pretty normal, okay? You usually see all of that. And then sometimes they're showing your vitamins and stuff. But then if you see at the very bottom, right here, it says, I can't read it. Percentage daily values are based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Okay, so this doesn't mean, because I mean, you see the percentages, right? So based off of 2,000, 200, no, <laughs> 2,000 calorie intake per day that means that this having one paleta because that's the serving size it tells you the serving size one bar of 2.7 fluid ounces um it says that it has seven grams of total fat which is 11 percent of your to total daily intake so basically i know some people may look at this but for those of you that don't like it's not a bad idea because sometimes I think it's really easy for us to be like, well, I didn't even eat that much. But if you track what you ate, you'd probably be like, oh, that was a little bit more than I thought. Or if you eat a whole bag of chips or a whole bag of Sour Patch, you know, you're just like, oh, it's a little bag, which could easily be like 400 calories. Now, um, you don't have to count calories. Again, it's just depending on whatever you want to do. I'm breaking it down in case some of you don't know. There are things that I track. Um, I use my fitness pal through, um, it's, a, it's like this lovely free app and I put in the meals that I eat and that kind of stuff. The main reason why I do that is to make sure that I'm eating my macros when it comes to protein, fat, and carbohydrates, right? Cause that's super important to me. And I base that off how much I'm working out that day. Okay. So it changes every day. And here's the thing, your calories carry over. You don't start afresh. You don't get a new body. Be like, okay, it's, I've never overeaten in the past couple of days. <laughs> you know, they carry over, which is how we gain weight, right? Anyways, because that cracks me up. Sometimes they, 
I used to think like that. Like, oh, yeah, I ate a lot yesterday, but whatever. Today, like, I'm super healthy. Doesn't matter. Calories carry over. Cracks me up to think that. But anyways, so I say the reason why I bring up that this is a 2001 in my fitness pal is that it, it kind of gives a recommendation on how, how many calories you should be eating a day. 2,000 calories is actually much more than I should be eating. Um, so that means that this paleta is probably more fat of my daily intake. Okay. So just something to be mindful of. But if you're going to have your cheat meals and you want to be a little savvy on your cheat meals, knowing this information helps you kind of keep track as well. Because at the same time, here's the thing. Remember, I've said this before and I'll say it again and I'll always keep saying it. I I work out to eat. I work out hard so I can eat hard because I love to eat and I don't want to take away the luxuries of food when it comes to certain intricacies or churritos or raspados or that kind of stuff, you know. I want to eat a ton of whatever, whatever. Now, at the same time, I know that because I have certain fitness goals and being shredded and ripped, <laughs> I need to be making sure that the food that I'm eating is providing those necessary nutrients to my body, okay? So... It's a little give and take, right? Because you're like, yeah, I want to go to that party and party hard and party like it's 1999, but I got to go to work at 7 in the morning tomorrow. You know, some people might go out and party and not go to sleep and go to work, but they might have to pay for it a little later, right? Feeling sleepy. But at the same time, you could be like, all right, I can go. I can get home by 10 and, you know, sleep a couple more hours and have a wonderful time. So it's just about finding that happy balance. And here, you, you know what? And it is going to be a little like this. It's not going to be perfect. Some days are going to be better than others. But you know what? It's a work in progress, not perfection. Like one of the hashtags a fellow group instructor likes to use. I love it. I love that she uses that. I should use that more often. But anyways, like it's really helpful because seriously, we're not... Sh to say you're striving to be perfect, like, you know, perfect is impossible. But just strive to be the best version of yourself, whatever that is and whatever your goal is, you know. So... Just again, being very mindful of your food. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself again to the luxuries of food because at the same time, you want to create something that is sustainable. A lot of people do not do well in their diets. I feel like I'm talking really loud. Am I talking really loud? I promise I'm really nice. But a lot of people fail in their diets. And I say this because, you know, you're like, I'm going to take away all these things from my diet. And it's going to be beautiful. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to, like, you know, be living my best. Sorry. And I'm going to be living my best life. And then you see them. And you're just like, dude, what happened? And they're like, I don't know. I tried and I couldn't. <laughs> that, that's me cleaning the table. <laughs> so, like I said, it's about being sustainable. And it's a pro work in progress. So... I see people that have that work out, and I ask them because I I'm like, damn, your body is on fleek. Like you look so toned, you look so muscular. Like, how? You know, t teach me your ways. There's no quick way to do it. Okay. So, what? And it, it blows my mind. There was this girl. There's this lady from the gym. Dude, she's been going to the gym for four years, and I look at her, and she's like a piece of work i'm just like dang girl i'm like get it girl i'm like hashtag goals right there i'm like that's gonna be me seriously mm -hmm. and i'm it took her four years i've been working out for a year and let's say well tomorrow will be nine months well eight months we'll say a year and eight months and at first i think i drove victor crazy excuse me real quick this thing's dripping on me i drove victor crazy We'd work out. I'd go hard one day, you know? And I'd be like, oh, my God. Do you see that in my leg? Like, I, oh, my, my muscle. Muscle memory. You know, I played sports at high school. So what? It's been, like, six years. Whatever. Or however long it's been, you know? <laughs> muscle memory. Duh. Don't you know about that? But really, there was nothing going on. <laughs> so it takes time. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm telling, there was this other guy. His name's um Davy, David Michael. You can see him on Instagram. I follow him on Instagram. Dude, this guy has been working out for ten years. Ten years, and he's buff. He's like, 
I think 250 pounds of like pure chiseled muscle and he looks phenomenal. I'm just like 10 years, one, one year and eight months. Like I got what, two, two months and what, eight years to go. So be patient with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the process. Now, I am guilty of that too, obviously, of not enjoying the process. Because like I said, I work out one day and I'm like expecting my whole body to do this 180 when my body's like, excuse me, girl. Like, come on. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I would run I would run like three, four miles in one month. Like, uh, one day. One day, I'm going to go run a mountain when I lived in Tucson. Get back home and I'd be like, ooh, yeah, look at me still in shape. Mind you, it took me like over an hour at, at least to like run. And then I'd be like, yeah, I'm fit. Like, can, could, I could not be more wrong. <laughs> so, be patient with yourself. It's a process. Don't give up. Be kind to yourself. Enjoy it as much as you can. Surround yourself with other people who will support you on it. And who also will be like, you know what? Again, you just got to treat yourself to the luxuries of food. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, thankfully, we have these wonderful sensory glands, our taste buds, that allow us to taste all the wonderful things that the world has to offer us. Don't, 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 um, what's the word I, I want to use? Don't deny yourself those, okay? Like, it's super important. And again, it, it helps it be a little more sustainable. Like, you know, fat are, fat's evil. It's not evil. Fat helps you feel satiated, helps you feel full. It's important. Now, that doesn't mean that you can have a deep fried Twinkie for every meal <laughs> along with your main courses that you're eating it doesn't work like that okay but every once in a while I'll never hurt anybody even if it was a couple of days or whatever like seriously like it's okay the important thing is that you're making little changes again before I really started working out hard the past year and eight months well working out at all my eating habit had changed I had stopped um eating as much chips i freaking love chips i adore chips like seriously me and chips are like this i love chips and i just don't buy them anymore because i know if i buy them i'll eat them <laughs> it's hard um but i'm getting better we have chips at home but but i'm like those are victor's work chips and i respect them but it's not easy sometimes because i'm like well i could get him another one <laughs> you'll never know no but um seriously and, and you you set yourself up so you don't sabotage yourself, right? You don't buy certain things, or if you do, you only do it certain. You only do it. You only do it during certain times, right? Because again, we want to be sustainable. So that's basically my two cents. Like, you choose when your cheat meals are and that kind of stuff based on your goals. You'll sacrifice as much as you want to get to where you want to be. Okay, like it really comes down to you, and really, it's gonna take time. But I mean, time is all we got, right? Like. As far as I know, I mean, I'm not saying we're living forever, but you know what I'm saying? But if you have any questions, um, let me know. And, and, and the reason why I bring that up is because, you know, sometimes I realize that the meals that I post on my, on my, um, that I go live on, like, you might be thinking like, oh, that's not what I expected. You oh, somebody, I well, they might not be think you might not be thinking like, wow, that's really healthy. <laughs> but I'm just kind of like, dude. It's it's fitting it's fitting my goals. I'm hitting my mac I'm hitting my macros and most importantly the ones that I look at are my protein and my carbohydrates. As long as it meets those, I'm happy. You know what I mean? So if you're doing fits your needs and your goals, do you boo kalama do me. And I hope you do you because that's super important. Like don't compromise yourself for anybody. I almost sound like I'm venting. I promise I'm not. But I do feel really strong about it. Don't deny yourself the pleasures of the world. Eating. I, you know me. I love eating. I look forward to snack time. I'm always like. Mm. I got somewhere on my. What's there to eat. But anyways. So let me know about your. your your What you like to. What are the luxuries of the world that you like to partake in. Because I like to know like. What do. I'm trying to think of what I eat. I mean I'll have a paleta every now and then. Um, what else I love candy so I'll do candy every now and then but again not often because I know I will eat it all in one sitting because I know I like sweet stuff I'll buy sugarless what's it called I'll buy sugarless jello and I'll have that 25 calories 
And I'm like, that's perfect for me. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like I ate a cookie the other day. It was a big old cookie. Like it was a big cookie. It was like two, it was a sandwich. It was a cookie sandwich. <laughs> it was like two cookies, two big cookies. But anyways, I'm just saying, do you boo. Okay. Do what makes you happy within reason. Anything in moderation, you know what I mean? And as long as it fits in with your goals. Because you're not, there are certain things that you cannot do. I should take it back. I, I, I don't like using absolute words. There are certain proven ways to get certain results. So if you want those certain results, you need to make sure that you put in the work. Because it's not going to come easy. And it's going to take time. That's the biggest thing. It's going to take time. I used I used to be a little scared about, oh my God, I'm going to put on so much muscle if I go heavy. Man, here I am struggling. I'm like up in my weights and everything. And I'm just like, it takes time. I'm like, ah. But you know what it is, what it is. And I'm like, you know what? I feel great. I feel strong. I'm excited to see my growth in the next year. So with that being said, go forth and enjoy the pleasures of the world. Keep me updated on what you're doing because I want to know. And don't feel guilty. If you feel guilty or something, like, send me something. Oh, yeah. And that can be hard, right? Um, somebody just put a comment about um, sometimes not having enough time. Like, I carry snacks in my, in my bags. Like, it's so funny because I'll, I'll go to my work office and I'll carry snacks with me. Now, is, is it the most convenient thing? Not really. I'm not a big fan, but I'm like, I know that if I don't do this, I'm more likely to do something that I don't want to do. I'm trying to see all of it. And yeah, because again, like, you also got to take in consideration, like, what time of day you eat, right? Because if you eat something really big before going to sleep, like, it's probably not the most beneficial for your body. But it's all about working on it. And you know, it's going to, it's, uh, uh, forgive me. It's a process. It's a struggle. Hey, everyone. Hey, Alina. Hey, Charlotte. It's a struggle. You know, and, and sometimes certain work hours lend itself better to certain things. And it's, it's, it's like, like the Tony event, Tony Robbins event that I attend. It's about making two millimeter changes. Like, again, not big drastic changes because I'm not a bit, I'm not always a big fan of making something like super monumental. Little drastic changes, little drastic changes. The pizza was actually really good, by the way, as a follow up to yesterday's pizza, last night's pizza. It was good. It didn't look that pretty. The edges of the crust looked like the same as when I first put it out, but it was good. I think, though, that next time I'm not using that crust, though, I was like, unless I had to, but I think I'd prefer the other crust because it looked more like a real crust versus the crumbly one. Yo como de todo, no dieta. Ah, pero voy al gym. Y sí, es la cosa, como, si vas al gimnasio, pero no cambia la dieta, está bien. You know, con que, si eso es parte de tu meta, entonces, perfecto. Porque, como digo, cada uno tenemos unas metas que queremos que cumplir. Y dependiendo de las metas, vamos a escoger una estrategia que nos ayude a um, cumplir esa meta, ¿no? So, a mí me gusta tragar. <laughs> Seriously, no tengo llenadera. So, I go hard to the gym. And for other reasons that you'll know soon. But anyways. Uh, los dejo. My paleta se está derritiendo. Oh my God. I can't. Like, it's falling on here and I'm licking this stupid thing. That's why I'm like doing this. But seriously, y'all. Keep me updated. I want to know what's going on with y'all. Reach out to me. I know that this whole fitness thing. Because sometimes you're like, well, I'm not even like that. Dude. Like you can be whatever you want to be. Don't let your don't let yourself don't hold don't hold back from being the best version of you. Okay, so I hope you guys have a lovely Friday. Ooh, it's the start to Labor Day weekend. Yay! So I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.